This short instructional video has been produced to aid the staff in the Department of Anesthesia and Pain Medicine at King Edward Memorial Hospital in Western Australia. Fibrinogen concentrate is a lyophilized white powder which comes as one gram in a glass ampule. It is stored at room temperature, has a five year shelf life and can be administered to any patient without cross-matching or compatibility testing. Fibrinogen concentrate is currently used at King Edward for select patients with very low fibrinogen levels who are experiencing a life-threatening hemorrhage. It is a suitable alternative to cryoprecipitate in situations where more rapid correction is desirable or in centres where cryoprecipitate is not available. At King Edward, fibrinogen concentrate currently requires consultant approval and should only be used according to the criteria outlined on the Department of Anesthesia Rotem Algorithm. The dose of fibrinogen concentrate should be ascertained by referring to the dose calculation table also contained on this algorithm. Most patients will require 3 to 5 ampules of fibrinogen concentrate. These ampules should all be prepared simultaneously using the technique described in this video. The powdered fibrinogen concentrate contained in each ampule needs to be dissolved in 50 ml of sterile water. Fibrinogen concentrate is relatively slow to dissolve and does have a tendency to form a frothy foam if shaken or mixed too vigorously. A recent study conducted in the department here at King Edward demonstrated that when using room temperature water it takes on average around 8 minutes to dissolve the contents of each ampule. In contrast when using warm water at around 35 degrees Celsius, this was shortened to only four and a half minutes. At King Edward, a small insulated kit containing warmed ampules of sterile water and syringes are now kept in the fluid warming cupboard located between theatre 1 and 2. When this kit is removed from the cupboard, as long as the lid remains closed, we have demonstrated the water in this kit remains above 33 degrees Celsius even after one hour. An insulated kit like this may be of use in hospitals where the fibrinogen concentrate is kept in one central location but may need to be taken to other locations around the hospital, for example radiology suites or labour ward. When storing sterile water in a warming cupboard, it is preferable to use water in glass ampules because of the unknown effect of warm temperature on plasticizers over time. After injecting the water into the ampule, it is important to swirl and tilt the ampule gently, without shaking, to avoid excessive foam formation. Using warm water, most of the fibrinogen will be dissolved within about four and a half minutes. If prepared carefully, there will still be a small film of foam on the surface, as visible in this example. When excessive shaking has been used, then a much larger volume of foam will form, as demonstrated in this ampule. Carefully draw each 50 ml of dissolved fibrinogen solution into a standard 50 ml syringe, being careful to expel any foam or air. In elective situations, such as correcting congenital fibrinogen deficiency prior to elective surgery, administer each gram of fibrinogen over 10 minutes. This corresponds to 300 ml per hour on a syringe driver. In emergency situations, such as a patient experiencing critical bleeding, administer each gram over 3 minutes. This corresponds to 1000 ml per hour on a syringe driver.